Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today we're just getting out of a stress zone. We're doing a little art therapy and we're painting some, you know, coastal doodles. We're doing some coral here, a sea fan, and just like this kind of like really loose, almost like scallop pattern. Really simple. You can turn into cards like I wrote, thank you. Um, do whatever you want with it. Just giving you some ideas to paint something for watercolor. If you feel, you know, like this is a Friday and Friday's kind of stressful days and maybe you come home from work and you're like, ugh, and get your frustration up by just putting some music on and painting a simple doodle like this will really help you. And it just, it just helps just to paint period, right? Playing with watercolor, paint, playing with color itself. Now I did blues, you can do coral colors, pinky, you know, pinky, orangey kind of color tones, mixing with the coral or a turquoise color. So all that's a lot of fun to do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. I do them weekly and some people are saying they're not seeing them, but I always have tutorials out weekly. So without further ado, let's just have fun. Let's have some little art therapy for the day. Okay, so to begin with, I'm just gonna go over some supplies and I talk about them as I go along and they're always in the description box below. So I've just um, basically tore up some pieces of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. And you'll say, why would you use such expensive paper? Because it's the best paper for wet on wet, you know, 100% cotton paper. So um, I have a lot of these sheets and I just kind of tore up like four by six inch pieces. And it's just simple like that. If you use cheaper paper, it's not gonna have the same kind of effect. It just won't. Um, this is a great exercise if you're stressed out, you're like bored or you don't know what to do or you're really just beginning watercolor and you're playing with wet on wet or all that good stuff and just trying out new paint colors in new brushes. This is the kind of exercise you do that with. Um, I think I'm going to use my Princeton 10 this time. The Velvet Touch series. Velvet Touch is a stiffer brush than the Neptune. I love my Neptune for like really loose florals and washes and skies a little stiffer so we're going to just paint intuitively some coral um and this is such a fun exercise doodling is great for the brain you know art it's art therapy basically um i use this ultramarine blue deep i would love a, there's a prussian blue let me grab some prussian blue and uh prussian blue with i have a navy somewhere but i can't seem to find it at the moment but prussian blue with some either paints gray could make a nice navy so here's a paint's gray and you can mix up prussian blue and it'll kind of create like a navy tone too now you can paint these in blues and pinks corally color we're going to apply do a couple of those different kind of tones right i have this wonderful um peacock blue now that's really just neonish and i'll add some kevin yellow deep and then we've got that nice turquoise color so you know we don't want that neon thing <laughs> it's a little too much Unless you want that, um, if I mix that blue with this ultramarine blue, it gets a little different, softer. So I'm gonna play with these three colors. You know, my palette is mixing into each other. That's okay, I won't freak out. So it's very watery here. And I'm holding on this brush. Now think of the first kind of, it's like a stem with like little stems hanging off of it, like little branches. So there's like a main stem. I'm just gonna go like this, just grab my brush kind of kind of bend it and wiggle it right and we have another stem off of that you see how we're doing this think of like your heart right and all this the main part of it this kind of looks like a sea fan and then you can have pieces kind of coming off of it like this right and then of course even little smaller pieces for the coral and mine a little pointy but that's why i use the round brush to be less pointy and then you're going to see, because the paint is wet, where it stops, you get that little bead of color that's going to seep in. It'll create like two different two different tones of color happening. But see, we're just wiggling branches here. Really just kind of having fun. This is your basic 101 coral. <laughs> um, you know, so you can see I'm just wiggling, pushing down the brush. Yeah, and then we can kind of branch it in here. And little ones off that. That is like the base of the coral. And I've grabbed that darker color. See how I can just bleed that color in there? And go overlapping some of this and have little lines coming out. That's, this is your base of coral. It's like a tree branch. Now, 
we could water this down even more. I'll tap it on the paper towel and get this really light color. Mm, still too dark. Really light toned back. Even more watered down. So you barely even see it. Now you could have started off doing just super light like I just did and then built on top of that. All right, we can even kind of mix a little bit of color. I've grabbed that turquoise color. Ooh, who's to say you can't do this, right? And this is glazing when you do that. So now we've got a couple of tones happening on this particular coral. This is like your practice coral. <laughs> practice, non-practice. And I was using the ultramarine blue with a little bit of that um, deep navy kind of color tone. See, I'm going over that. And when the two mix, they t go on top of each other, you got that glazing technique so it gets darker. Now you can make them a little fatter, rounder like that. Who's to say they can't be fat? They can be branchy, super branchy, like you would picture, you know, the veins coming out from your heart. Or a little bit fatter on the end if you want to. This is your coral and you can do what you want to. And see how I'm just kind of like going like this and add little branches. What makes the cards fun and unique is that they all, maybe in the blues, maybe in the coral color itself. So that's like your typical way to create one, right? We're going to build slowly. We're going to get more advanced as we go. We'll just start off. That's our simple coral branch. Maybe I'll have like another one coming off in. Here we go. But that's, this is the basic 101. You see how I created this little tree of coral. And that right there is just a sweet little card. You can just sign your little name to, you know, and I can say grab a little bit deeper color if you want to have like some more, you know, darker colors, tapping them in as they're wet, you know, creating this kind of cool wet on wet tones, leaving that light color, have a variety of the tones. But this is your time to just relax and paint and not think about too much that's going on in the crazy world that we have. I think everyone's just too heated up and now it's getting to be summer and it's going to get all intense. So let's just calm down and paint some coral. So there we go. The first one. So the second card we could do, I'm going to use a same brush. Um, it's kind of like a pattern. You might have to start off using a, a pencil and you're going to just do like this round edge here just to start off and then you're going to go curve in see and then you can keep going with that curve in and you keep going like that you see what I'm saying and go in so you have that like scalp kind of looking edge I don't think you need me to give you a traceable for this <laughs> you can just screenshot that right now and then just paint that and just take one color uh, whatever color you want to mix or a couple of colors and play with the colors. I have that peacock blue grab some yellow make a nice turquoise now um, Water this down Get a pretty turquoise color. You can do alternating of the turquoise and the ultimate blue ultramarine blue deep So we can set up by just going like this and then just gonna be making little like wiggles like this Tap it, and that's the first one. Leave some white space. You see that? See how I'm doing that? Um, the second one we can change. We can alternate the colors and keep it the same. So you can just tip tap the same shape and just do some lines again. This is just a doodle, but it's going to be a really cool pattern. You see what I'm doing with this? Now, if you did that, then the color is going to change in between the two, you see? Or you keep it the same color. Maybe you mix another color. You see what I'm seeing? I had mixed three different colors. I'm just kind of wiggling it, leaving that space, tip tap. It kind of looks like a scallop shell. All right, then you have to go back to the blue. Yeah, so it might be better if you can actually draw it out first. 
but I can play with just painting it, just little lines. Look how cool this is. This is fun. Right? And you're alternating different blues. So it might be helpful to draw it all out, just like to sketch it out first. You know, uh, again, it's like a rounded sketch. Mm -mm -mm. So you can play with this, how it goes. Just another pattern you can create. Obviously here, just tip tap. I love painting patterns. It's my thing. I'm gonna be over here too. Doodles, doodles are fun. And I'm just squiggling these guys. Nothing special about this. Little lines, little tash, dashes and taps. Dash lines and taps. And it looks like a scallop, right? Kind of go like that, make it more like a scallop. And then I mix the two colors and then I have that color here. It's just different and you can just swiggling if they blend into each other. So be it. See what this cool pattern we're creating? Mm, this mixed color here of the two. You can kind of go wee with the scallop, <laughs> change the color up completely. Again, once you have the lines drawn, the rest is easy. This is the blue, ultimate blue color. I'm just kind of wiggling. Look at the lines like a scallop would be. You can sit there and do this all day. Now you can put the other same, these colors in these colors too. Wiggle, squiggle. This is fun. You don't have to paint the whole entire picture. You can just do like half that. So again, mine's not perfect, but it's cute. You see some similar patterns um, around and about. And I'll just go like that. So we can take some of the dark, this color when it's dry and tap in another tone of it. See where we're going with this? So you can just do half like for a card or something and write thank you or you know whatever on top. I don't think you need to fill out the whole thing. I think this is kind of cool. Just the half of it. This is simple doodle. And you get a little bit more bands by tapping in some like patterns on top, like do 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 do, adding in some. Take the uh, ultimate blue deep. You see how I'm doing here? I'm doing some little lines and getting a little more fancier. But really, really, really simple. Same thing with this color. One just kind of wiggled in, squiggled in. <laughs> I love the way it looks though, don't you? Now you can do this with any color. Like you can do this with pretty pink corals. They look really cute. You could do this kind of pattern with the coral itself. Like I showed you the branchy coral we painted first. If you made that small like that, you could do a bunch of them going across. Look how pretty those two look together already, right? So we got two great cards. Thank you, whatever. Um, you can do like the kind of waves. I'm giving you ideas up the gazoo here, people. And let's do a simple like fan. A C fan. So we'll just take our ultimate blue deep. We're just going to wiggle, wiggle like a shape. Like this. Kind of coming down. And then going over. Just like that. And you picture like the, the tree branch is going to kind of come down like this way a little bit. I have a real C fan up in my bedroom. I should have brought it down. but And then we'll go like this. Kind of come out this way. I don't know, just playing around with the, the branch would come down here, a little bit here, kind of mushy. 
just like that. It's really kind of light blue. You can kind of bleed a little bit darker blues in some areas. Not too dark though. We're still working that. I love ultramarine blue deep. It's just like my favorite color. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of it. Ooh, maybe mix it with the turquoise. Just a little bit in some areas. We got some variety of spice of life here. This is gonna be our sea fan. So just that simple blobby shape like that. And then I'm gonna let this dry. And we're gonna paint in these little skinny branches and call it a day. We've created some really cool kind of cards. So now I'm gonna grab the ultimate blue deep. I'm gonna add a little of the paints gray, Prussian, I'm gonna get a little darker. I don't want it to be that bright, super bright. So the paints gray is going in there. I can tap on the paper towel if it's too wet, too loose. And then so now we're gonna add like a little tree branches. We're gonna start like here kind of branch out, it gets skinnier. I have it prints an eight long round velvet touch series and then hit this section here and branch out and get skinnier. And there's another branch kind of happening on the edge here. And then we can do some like little forks kind of coming out here. And I'm just gonna put like, there's like little like wiggles down here like a blob, kind of like roots. Put those down there, like that. I'm gonna add like another little branch here and another branch here. And then we're gonna start to do like little branches off that. Mine will crisscross and then put another one right in the center, kind of coming down. So that's like the main, main dudes. And then we have to get really skinny. So use this brush and make really skinny branches off the branches that we did. Going to the edge. This is the edge. <laughs> crisscross. I like to crisscross some of them, but we go out here. They can follow the lines. Come out this way a little bit. this cross make tiny little branches this is where you put music on have you know this is the therapy part <laughs> you just just making little branches coming off the branches really skinny little tree veins that's how I look at it. They're like little veins. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. You can get cuckoo with it or just just do a few little branches. It's up to you. Get some more down here, down bottom, up here. They're gonna be really thin going towards the edge. Branch off branch off branch. Off branch. And looks a little funky with this weird shape here. I'm gonna fill this in a little bit. And down here. Yeah. And then let that dry and then add the little the veins again. I never do another vein in here. Grab that dark color. So um, I added blue, Prussian blue, paints gray. Let's get that deeper color. Let's get a little deeper color. Ooh, that's a little too deep. Sometimes I go crazy. Look at that. And I'll add the vein here. It's a little bleeding vein. I don't mind that though. I like little fuds. A little deeper color kind of happening the fan there and that's the sea fan lift a little bit meow isn't that cute if you want to like kind of lift some of the color off the edge a little bit to get even like softer you can do that I'm gonna lift a little bit 
off my edge. And then when it dries, I'll add the little fans, the little bands, the little <laughs> veins. Yeah. All right. Let that dry. So now you have like three cards. Um, they look a little different. I added a little bit more patterns in this water shot down and you can write words up in here, whatever marker you have, like, right. You can write, thank you or whatever you want to do for your greeting card, you know, for your little doodle and greeting card. They're so much fun to play with them, painting these kind of things. Just doodle, doodle, doodle. I'm going to add a few more dashes and squiggles just to enhance some of these. See? You can paint coral. You can paint little sea fans. I think it's so much fun. And they can be blue or they can be coral color. Um, it's up to you. Sometimes it's just easier to just keep it all in the blue zone <laughs> and a lot of fun to paint. So just doodles are fun and they're very therapeutic. If you're stressed out and you don't know what to paint, I give you a bunch of ideas and then you can continue this pattern forever. Like I said, if you have a computer and you can scan it in and they can, you know, make it lighter and put typography on top and turn it into imitations or all kinds of good stuff. Um, like a card, like I said, it's just a pretty card take this and just turn this to a pattern just do a multiple bunch of these so i'm just giving you ideas for things to paint when you're frustrated go like google pictures of um coral uh, sea life and use the same techniques to paint with that so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you have a fantastic day take care and i'll speak to you soon